Hi, my divine sisters. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ash the Witch. If you're new to this channel, I use tarot and my intuition to help you with spiritual growth and life predictions. So for today's reading, let's take a look at um, who is your spiritual guide and what are they trying to tell you? Um, everyone has spiritual guides. For some of us, maybe uh, we have like several spiritual guides. So for today's reading, I'm going to use tarot to read the energy of your spiritual guide and try to channel their message to you. So um, since, as I said, some of you may have like more than one spiritual guide, um, the energy that I am reading might be a mixed up energy and I can only read those energy through my own life experience and my own language. So if there's anything that you think is not very correct according to how you feel and how you um how can I say this? How you experience the energy around you, please um base my reading on your real life experience. Okay, so don't just take everything as granted um as I said literally in this reading. Okay, so uh let's Quickly look at your piles, okay? So I have the four options here, okay? So let's take a look at them one by one. So for group number one, the option for you is channeling, okay? So this is your card. Let me put it here, okay? So you can take a look at this card and decide whether you're going to choose this one or not, okay? That's group number one. And for group number two, you have... Vesica Pisces. Okay, so this is your card. Okay, take a look at it. Think about whether you're going to choose this group or not. Okay. And for group number three, this is your card. Okay, it says focus. And today we're going to be looking at your spiritual guide and the message they have for you. So think about that and think about whether you're going to choose this one or not. And for group number four, we have this card and it says alignment. Okay, today's reading is about your spiritual guide and what they're going to be telling you. Okay, so these are the four groups. Okay, so you can meditate on these options and think about to which one draws your attention the most. Okay, um, and also maybe you can choose one more than one group. Um, so as I said, some of you may have more than one spiritual guide. So if you choose one or if you choose more than one group from these options, that means um, there are quite clearly different. Um, how can I say? Kind of a clearly different energy that you have like two different spiritual guides. So you can... As I said, again, you can adjust it to your own life experience and life conditions and and um, uh, have your own explanation of all my readings today. OK, and um, before we going. OK, so before going into the uh, reading, let me shout out that I am also receiving personal readings. If you like my reading and think that my reading is helpful and you want a personal um reading please contact me uh, since this is these are all group readings and group readings are not as accurate as personal reading so if you want one please contact us and you can find my email in the description box of this video um, just send us email and maybe you can just leave a comment in the comment box and I can also find you so um, but please remember that my reading will be provided by a recorded video or a text message. So I'm not going to do online chat. Okay. If you're okay with that, I'm very happy to help you. And also, I receive readings in English, Chinese, and Japanese. So you can also tell me which language do you prefer so that you can understand the reading better. Okay. So enough talk about that. I think you have already made your decision. So these are the options. Please choose one group from these four. And um, when you finish choosing, you can forward, uh, you can quickly forward skip to the timestamp that I provide in this description of this video. And you can start watching your reading. Okay, so see you guys later.
Okay, group number one, welcome to your reading. This is the card that you've chosen. It says channeling. Okay, so as I said while you were picking the card, I don't remember if I said that or not, um, but um, this card is actually telling me that you have a very strong psychic ability and that psychic ability will help you with channeling information or channeling messages from your spiritual guide. So your spiritual guide is very closely uh, it is very close to you and they're actually telling they they have been like channeling or um messaging you like all the time um so probably you guys are sometimes you just feel like uh, someone is talking to you or someone just put some words in your mind that's a spiritual guide or sometimes you guys might they feel like um you just feel you just have that instinct that this thing is not right or this person is not the right person um that's also a spiritual guide talking to you so i want you guys to be clear with that um with this card i'm actually very clearly seeing that you guys are are very well connected with a spiritual guide and your spiritual guide has been helping you in all this life okay so for this card we'll be looking at this card later because it contains a message that your spiritual guide is trying to tell you it's trying to tell you and let's take a look at the other oracle cards here the first up we have dream okay so for this one oh let me put it here so that you can take a look at okay let me show this card to you guys first okay so it says dream right so um in this card uh with this card i'm actually seeing uh that your spiritual guide is telling you to uh or when you are channeling or when your spiritual guide is trying to give you any message or any information um they will give that information to you through your dream so they'll appear in your dream so probably for this group for you guys you have been already meeting with your spiritual guiding dreams so you can think about whether there has been some people or some specific figures that has been appearing in your dream random like uh frequently or uh, with a very clear frequency if that is the case probably that will be your spiritual guide and you have been already meeting with them and they have been already always on uh, channeling information to you and for this card we have field mouse oh look at that believe in yourself and dare to dream big come on and look at the color i can't make this up right so it's again a um a stress on the information of dreams okay so um that that, that, that that's actually uh, telling us that your spiritual guide is very focused on the dreams and also for this dream it doesn't actually literally mean the dream that while you're sleeping it also means that the dream in your life so what you want to manifest in your life okay so uh, look at the message it says believe in yourself and dare to dream big that actually means that you have a lot of potentials and for that potentials you are meant to hurt or you're meant to seen by the world okay you have the ability to change the world but are you trying to do that um probably that's the energy here okay so your um spiritual guide is trying to tell you that you need to focus on your dream and you need to step out of your comfort zone um to get to your dream right it's because your dream is very potential and your dream is very likely to be true okay let's take a look at the next card oh my god can you believe it i just said literally the same word here it says get out of your comfort zone come on guys i can't make that up right so your your spiritual guide is trying to connect with me and um, they're trying to tell you that you have been you are having an energy of holding yourself back um because you are having an energy of um dealing with your solitude because you want to hold back but hold back because now the the thing is like this because your spiritual guide is always trying to tell you is always trying to help you um, your spiritual guide is always with you so in that case you have a and also you have a very strong psychic ability so you have the ability of manifestation you manifest really quick you, you really fast like you think about something and something will just come with a very surprising way so in that case um you are actually blessed with a lot of uh, uh, resources chances luck right so for those kind of things for, for many kind of like um 
um, okay, so let's say this. So for, for whatever you have in your life, you get them really easily, pretty easily. So in that case, probably you just uh, are satisfied. You seems like you're satisfied with what with, with what you have now, but your spiritual guide is telling you no, that's not enough. You are meant to be bigger than this. Okay, you are meant to be bigger than this, and you are meant to be doing something bigger than this. Okay, and what is being stopping you is that um you are afraid of left alone. Probably that's the energy that I'm I'm feeling because I feel I really feel like a very hold back energy. Um, you don't want to follow the group. You don't want to follow the community. Not because of that you. Are not good enough, but because of you are afraid of being left alone. Okay, let's take a look at a message that your spiritual guide is trying to tell you. Oh, it's a solitude, guys. This is literally magic happening. It says once you embrace the inner divine and your own sacred solitude, the right people arrive at the right time, exactly on the schedule, without forcing or chasing. See. Um, I actually feel a very get a very strong energy of chasing people, of um thinking about these relationships with other people because, for example, like this card, it literally says that um、uh, when you are being solitude, uh, they want you to uh be uh enjoying that solitude, okay, to be enjoying that moment, being alone. Maybe you can meditate. Maybe you can talk to yourself to find your inner divine, right? To find your inner divine. It's saying here. And also, um, I have a very strong sight about you, group number one, being betrayed by someone or be misbelieved, like um, mistrusted someone, and then you being betrayed by those people. So, um, for these group, for for this group specifically, for group number one, um, you since you have. Goes you have gone through some kind of like a not very good relationships, uh, be it love relationships, be it friendship, um, you are kind of like holding a little bit back, um, or probably I'm thinking that what you're thinking and what you're dreaming of doing in the future is related to relationships. So probably that is also, um, somewhere that's been stopping you, or um, how can I say this? Uh, trying to. Um, grandize your fear. Okay, so they're actually enlarging your fear. So you you're not actually supposed to be that fearful of this. And actually, you are very, a、uh, communicative person because we have field mouse there. They live in a community, right? So you're a very communicative person, and you have a lot of a、uh, communication skills. But when it comes to a very conflict way, you will be, oh, I'm so tired. I don't want to be arguing with people. Right. Let's take a look at your tarot and see what they are saying. Okay. So we first up we have a、uh, five of wands, and five of wands is literally what I've just said. Right. This is a kind of like conflict energy. Um, since we are actually looking at this a、uh, spiritual guide thing, so probably why are you having these kind of like conflicted or divided energy is because of you have not only one spiritual guide. You have many spiritual guide here, and your spiritual guide don't agree with each other. Um, some of your spiritual guide is because you have a very strong energy of channeling, um, things, right? Of channeling messages, so you can easily channeling totally different message from totally different spiritual guides. Okay, so that's probably uh bothering you because you feel like you don't know how to decide. So here, um, your spiritual guide as a group. Okay, they're telling you the same message here. So actually, there is is the same message that your all group guide, your、uh, spiritual guides all agree with is that you are supposed to be bigger and you need to dream bigger and you use your dream to help people. So that's uh literally the energy and the word I'm getting like randomly from the air. So in this case, um, I can see that um. Probably a spiritual guide is trying to tell you that you are supposed to do some psychic work. You're supposed to do some light work to help people with spiritual, um, growth with your uh with spirituality, right? With all these kind of things, with all these um religious belief magic things. 
Okay, so you have that power. Okay, you need to lead your spiritual guide team. It's a team. Okay, that's basically what I'm seeing here. It's a team. It's not only one person, but you are the leader. Okay, you are not going to be guided by any of these spiritual guides. Okay, and also that's why they're trying to channel this message to you because they want you to give them. A guide, a guidance. Okay, they want you to lead them. Okay, they don't want you to just follow them. Okay, they want you to put them together, right? And also, you have the wheel of fortune. Okay, you see an angel and a devil here, right? So that's basically when the um. The devil and the angel appear on your shoulders and talk to you when you're making decision, right? I, I'm actually getting that image now. So it's very much like your spiritual guide is trying to um. Interfere in your decisions in your lives because you have a team and you can easily channel message from them. You will be uh not very, how can I say, not very decisive in making decisions, right? And next up we have like uh seven of cups. That's the same, right? So for example, like you have all these options and you are thinking uh which option to choose or you want to manifest all of these ideas, right? So these spiritual guys they are always giving you a lot of spiritual ideas and a lot of um. Chances to manifest whatever you're thinking, but you are divided. You are, um, kind of like you don't. You're you're lacking that kind of like spiritual leadership to, um, lead your spiritual guide team. Okay, and also you have the lover, right? So here, uh, with the lover, we can see. I can tell that all these spiritual guides, um, that are, uh, talking to you are actually very close to you. Okay, so here I am actually getting an energy of. Past life lovers, past life close friends, those kind of like energy. Okay, they are very close to you in the past life, and they are here to help you. So, um, they need your permission. They need your leadership to lead them, um, help you with all these things. So you need to be that. You need to be their spiritual guides. That's actually what I am trying to. That that's actually what I'm hearing. So it's very interesting, right? So this group. So because um, you guys for this group, you are witches, wizards, right? You have that magical power. So please just use your magical power to talk to your spiritual guides and put them together. Okay, and next up we have the three of water, which is a energy of. Um, telling you not to be fearful, right? So just uh stand against the wave, okay? Stand stand against the current, right? So everything there is uh okay for you, and you just need to be enjoying that those, okay? Manifestation is on its way, okay? So I have the sage card and I have the youth card together, so that's also very divided because the sage card is a card. Um, talking about a very wise old man there, right? And the youth card is talking about a very kind of like ambitious young man, right? So here, these two energy is exactly the energy I'm getting here, the conflicted energy here I'm getting. So one of them is telling you you need to dream big, you need to go chase your dream, and one is saying that you need to think a little bit. Right, you need to get alone and think a little bit, connect it to your spiritual guide, guide, and try to get their advices. Okay, so for the sage, uh, probably he is telling you that you need to be alone. You need to be more. You need to meditate for a little bit, and then go on to uh whatever you are trying to do. But the youth is trying to be like is pushing you like okay go ahead go ahead like, trying to put all these ideas in you, so these two both of them are very strong both of them are very strong so they are actually uh influencing you or affecting you with a very strong presence so um you will be divided if I were you I would be divided too so um also you have the. Ace of Winds, which talks about communication, and Five of Winds, which talks about um, 
how can I say fear in communication? Okay, fear in exchanging ideas. So these two cards are basically talking about changing ideas or talking about communication skills. So whatever I am getting here is that your spiritual guide wants you to talk to them and they want to talk to each other, right? So they want you to uh, think about um, both sides because these two Okay, whatever these two are trying to say are all right. They're all correct. Okay, so you don't just um, you don't just follow one of them. You have to think about the their advices at the same time and ideas at the same time. So you need to have the ability to handle all these different cups in your mind. Okay, so at, at the same time, I get a lot of like uh binary energies here, right? Binary energies here. So it's very divided and your spiritual guides are divided. Okay. So that's probably the message um, they're trying to tell you. So they're trying to tell you to be their leader. Okay. And um, to discuss with them, like how this is going. Don't be affected at one time by one single spiritual guide. Okay. So you need to talk to both of them. Yeah, you need to channel messages from both of them and manage and balance those uh, energies. Okay, so um, that's all for group number one. Okay, I hope um, you have a very good relationship with the spiritual guide team because you guys are very uh, powerful. You have very powerful psychic abilities. So please talk to your spiritual guides. Okay, and uh, get uh, information from them and uh, manifest whatever you're thinking or whatever you want. Okay, so that's all for group number one. Thank you for watching. I am Ashta Witch. And if you like my rating, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't switched on the bell icon, please switch on it so that you don't miss any, uplate, any update I am uploading. And um, I am also doing personal readings. If you think that group readings are not very accurate, you can book a personal reading from me. You can find my email address in the description box of this video. You can also leave a comment in the comment box. Okay, I can provide uh, the personal reading in recorded video like this only for you or in text messages in mails. Okay, and, and also I receive personal readings in English, Chinese, Mandarin, and Japanese. Okay, so you can also assign your language so that you can understand the reading better. Okay, so that's all for today, my dear group number one. I hope you the best of luck and see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, group number two, welcome to your reading. Today, we're going to be looking at who is your spiritual guide or who are your spiritual guides and what are they trying to tell you at this moment? Okay. So for the option cards, you've chosen the Vesica Pisces. Okay, so this is the card. Okay, this is also very binary energy and it's also kind of like circle. So it goes um, like round and round and round and goes up at the same time. Okay, so it's more like the DNA kind of like spiral there. Okay, so let's take a look at your Oracle cards first so that I can get more specific information about this because so far I'm not very sure what this means. Okay, um, probably, I'm actually suddenly getting this information. Probably this card means that your spiritual guide is some karmic relationship. Okay, by karmic, I don't mean the bad karma. Okay, so karma could be really nice. Karma could bless you, right, with very good relationships. So for this group, um, if you chose this card, probably your spiritual guide is some kind of like karmic relationships that you had in the past life. So they have been in your past lives like all the way. Okay, they have always been there. Okay, so you have a very strong bond. Okay, although... um. In your past life, this bond, sometimes it could be bad, but sometimes it could be, ne let's say, negative, let's say, aggressive, or um, kind of like that, right? So, but sometimes it could be really peaceful, it could be really helpful, okay? So, that's exactly the energy that I am getting here for this, for this card so far. Let me leave this card here for later because it's, it's, it, it contains the message that your spiritual guide is trying to tell you. Okay. Uh, we have aquamarine, it says go with the flow, 
right? It actually matches with this kind of like karmic message here, right? So it's actually telling us that you are, if you are facing any difficulties, if you are facing anything that you feel like you are not supposed to have, um, this card is trying to tell you that it's kind of probably it has a bigger picture here than what you have been going through. Okay, so what does that mean is like sometimes we want to or we tend to um, attribute what uh, the difficulties in our lives to some kind of like other uh, events. Right. So, for example, if your boss uh, is not happy with you, you think it's because of your work is not good enough. Right. But actually, it's not the case. Sometimes it could be a relationship that has been lasted from previous lives to now. OK, so and that 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 your boss being not liking you is just one of those manifestations. OK, so um. Sometimes all those kind of like cause and effect could be bigger than what we have um, considered in our lives. Okay. And the next we have build. Okay. Build. So this card is actually saying that um, the energy you're having now or your spiritual guide is um, a very hardworking person or a very hardworking energy, okay? So, and also it takes a long time to build this bond with you and your spiritual guide, okay? Um, and go on, let's take a look at this one, Panda. Okay, so Panda says balance, right? So ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. So this one, right? It's actually similar energy here I'm getting from the build card from the Pisces card. So it's all about um, karmic relationships, right? So these relationships, the relationships between you and your spiritual guide, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good, right? So it changes and it's like a spiral, right? It's like a circle of life, Okay, um, it's like seasons, right? So when it comes to winter, maybe you will have some hard time. But when it comes to summer, you have a really lovely and warm time. Okay, let's take a look at the message that you're having here. It says impatience. Okay, my life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. So, yeah, um. Probably your the message that your spiritual guide is trying to tell you is that you need to be patient. Okay, you need to be patient, and you are facing some difficulties in your life. You are facing some problems. You have something that you really want to solve right now, um, but it's just not time. It's karma, right? It's karma. I think you guys have very strong karma. That's why this card came out. And also your spiritual guide is trying to do this karmic work for you, right? On the next level, on the spiritual level. Um, so if you don't accept their work, they can actually not affect you. Okay, so it's like your spiritual guide is trying to work on these karmic relationships is working on this karmic difficulties. But if you don't work by yourself, if you don't manifest, if you don't give chance of those works to manifest, for example, if you're very impatient in, um, in, in that you really want it to be manifested fa as fast as possible, then probably um, you are actually, you make some wrong decisions or probably you'll block the energy, you'll block your spiritual guide from helping you. Okay, so the spiritual guide is telling you that, okay, don't worry, take a deep breath, everything is fine. Even if you're, you're dealing with some really difficult things, um, it's your karma, right? That's, it has some, it, 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 it has way bigger and broad, um, cause and effect relationships than you think, okay? And your spiritual guide is helping you with that, okay? So you just need to be, it takes time, okay? It, it's not like something that they pling and then everything's gone. No, it's not like that, okay? So let's take a look at your tarot card. The first one is Queen of Pentacles. So this is a very strong energy of a very... Um, stable and hardworking 
female feminine spirit here is trying to helping you. Is trying to help you, um, with these karmic relationships. Okay, so they are hardworking. They want everything to be done perfectly. Okay, so of course they will bring whatever you want. They will bring material abundance to you, but you just need to wait. Okay, and also we have Knight of Cups. This is also a very young, kind of like um, um, masculine energy. It's masculine, but it's 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 very young and also it's very soft. Okay, so probably whatever I am getting here for you guys for group number two, um, you also don't have just one spiritual guide. You have a lot of spiritual guides. And the most powerful ones are these two. Okay, so we have one is getting the energy of Queen of Pentacles, who is very realistic, right? Who is very um helpful, hardworking, and the other one is kind of like is is the Knight of Cups energy, um, which is very imaginative and very soft, nice, but also at the same time, um. Have that kind of like masculine aggressive energy to going forward. Okay, so let's go on. We also have the strength. Okay, so let me finish what looking at this and also six of ones, right? So that all that all speaks of um successful. Okay, success being successful in success, and also um you guys have a lot of. Um, desire. You really want a lot. So it's like here. What's what? What is saying here? Huh? You want a lot. So you have that desire. You have to um get the idea, or you need to know how to tame your desire. Like this lady is taming the lion. Okay. Um. You want to be successful. You want on um, reputation, right? So here, what I'm saying is, what I'm seeing is that you, um. Compared to money, what is actually attracting you more is the reputation, is people's admiration. Okay, admire you. When people admire you, you feel like, oh, that's great. I, I, I'm very enjoying. I, I'm, I'm very, I, I enjoy. And sorry, what's going on with my word? I enjoy that very much. Okay, and let's go on. We have five of fire, which is a very competitive energy here. And integrity. Okay, so this card actually speaks with the Pisces card. With this card, I'm getting the picture. Let me finish reading, looking at all these cards together. Okay, emotion and knowledge. Okay, so for you guys, I'm actually having a very strong fiery energy here. So for you guys, you are very devoted into competing. Um, you really want to uh, get something. Okay, you're very aggressive. Okay, you want to go ahead. Okay, you want a lot of things. Okay, so you want to win. Okay, so in your mind, you always think that a、uh, win and lose is kind of like very clearly divided, but actually, um, for this message, your spiritual guide is trying to tell you is that winning and losing are not very clearly divided. Like what I have said just now, there is a very huge. Or broad, way broader karmic relationship, like between lives, um, between time, between dimensions. So for you, you have been focusing on a very literal, um, way of winning and losing, of getting something, of being, ah,、uh, paid back, right? So, ah,、uh, that ah、uh, way of thinking or that, um. Status is not a very helpful status so far because you are not being patient. You really want to go ahead. You have that aggressive energy, right? So here with this integrity card, it's actually saying the same thing. So for example, um, integrity. This card actually talks about the nature. So in the nature, you 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 see that predators. Um, getting praise, right? They're killing. They're eating each other, right? But actually, if you look them as a whole, it's a very healthy system. Okay, so we're saying that when if you're just looking at a low part, um, uh, killing, probably a gazelle, you you would think that oh, this is bad. Right, the 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 low part is bad. The low part is the villain. But actually, when you look at the whole, a、uh, system, 
elopers don't um randomly kill gazelles. They actually um are sometimes when they're not hungry, they don't do that, right? They could be living together there. So in that case, I'm actually saying that this is a co kind of like cohabitation kind of situation. Okay, so we're not talking only talking about living or life. And individually, we're talking about lives. We're talking about the system of lives, right? So there are way bigger and broader view, and in your life and in what's happening here in your life. Even if you're facing difficulties, those difficulties does not come from the place you think they come from. Okay, and here we have knowledge and emotions. So probably that's talking about the same thing here. These two cards are very important. Okay. Knowledge is about is about logic thinking. Is about not only logic thinking, but knowing the truth of this world. Okay, of destiny of life. But emotions are very kind of like, how can I say? Um, are those kind of energies that affecting your decision making? It's very individual. It's very inside, internal. So in that case, in but these two cards, I'm actually saying that, for example, like the knowledge card, it talks about um the 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 way or uh the ability to know the truth of the world, which is. Not as easy as what you have been thinking about, right? There are way bigger things, and you have been caught up by your emotions in making those decisions. Okay, so this is the message that your spiritual guide is trying to tell you. Okay, so I think um, for you guys um, it could be very simple. It's just telling you not to be impatient. Okay, try to be patient and wait for a while. Okay, stop this. Worry. Okay, you are very worried about lose. You're very worried about how can I win this, right? You you want a result, right? You're very focused on that result, but actually your spiritual guide is trying to tell you the result is not important. The experience, okay, or the way or the idea that the, the how are you going to know the truth of how all these events in your life. Are put together. How these events in your life are connected with each other. You need to think about that to get the truth of your life. Okay, to get the karmic relationship there. So that your spiritual guide can help you with all this karmic work, with clearing all those kar karmas. Okay, so that's all for you, group number two. I hope you enjoyed my reading. If you like my reading, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to this channel. And also, don't forget to switch on the bell icon so that you don't miss any update I am uploading. And also, this is a group reading, so it's some of the messages might not be that um accurate. So if you want an accurate personal reading, you can find my email address in the description box of this video, and just send us an email and book. A personal reading, and also you can book personal readings in the comment box if you want. Please leave a message there. Okay. Um. And but please note that、uh, I am only providing these personal readings in text or in recorded videos like this only for you. But I'm not receiving any online phone calls. If you're happy with that, I am grateful to help you. Okay. Um, and also, I can receive personal readings in、uh, English, Chinese Mandarin, and Japanese language. So you can also、uh, choose your preferred language so that you can understand the reading better. Okay, so that's all for today, my dear group number two. I hope you the I, I wish you the best of luck. Okay, and、um, just just take a deep breath and rest for a while and clear all those kind of like competitive thoughts here. Okay. So that's all for today, and thank you for watching. Bye bye. Hi, my dear group number three. This is Ash the Witch, and um, welcome back to this reading. And today we're going to be looking at, uh, who is your spiritual guide, or who are your spiritual guides, and what are they trying to tell you? Now, this is the card that you've chosen. It says focus, right? And this is a very beautiful card. Okay. This is a very beautiful card. Focus. Okay, now that's a very clear message here. I'm getting right. Your spiritual guide is literally trying to tell you to focus. 
right? Um, but let's take a look at Oracle cards and find out what specifically are your spiritual guides is trying to tell you to focus on, okay? And we'll keep this card later because it contains a very clear message, okay? Let's take a look at the first card. It says fluoride and find peace within, okay? Yeah, so in this case, I am actually getting that your spiritual guide is trying to tell you that you guys have a lot of thoughts, right? You guys are not focusing on, you guys are really easily distracted. Probably you have ADHD for this group. Like, I have ADHD too. I know how it feels when you can't focus, right? So your spiritual guide is trying to tell you that, oh, um, the case here is not because I'm not talking about any pathology. I'm actually talking about that having ADHD probably is not the case here. Um, if you can't focus, that actually means that you are very sensitive to the change of energy. So you guys are very sensitive in energy change. So you will be very easily affected um, by negative energy around you um, by by other people thought you will be really easily connected to people okay so that is the case here that that is what uh the spiritual guide is trying to tell you and let's go on we have tribulation right tribulation means that you are really um facing some kind of like difficulty here okay um life is difficult okay life is difficult and um you find it probably you're, you're you're dealing with some um work or job that you really need to focus but you can't and it's getting worse um because you can't focus on it right and we have rabbit sensitive soul right exactly that's what i've just said right strengthen your boundaries and cut cords okay so you have rabbit it's sensitive um so, and looking at a mountain here, the color and this like a light uh, at the top of the card, I'm actually getting on um, this is a confirmation of the uh, word that I've just said, because you for uh, which is like you guys are very sensitive, you can pick up energy really easily and you could be affected by this energy really easily. Okay, um, so so this is not a card that um i am here trying to uh do oh sorry um so you guys are really uh, easily affected by on uh, the surrounding energies here sorry i've just been interrupted by some kind of like messages just now and let's take a look at the message that your uh, spiritual guard is trying to tell you huh it says relationship and it says i call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way may it now fully belong to the divine let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us i needn't uh, fear letting go of control my needs are always abundantly met okay so this one is talking about relationships so probably i am seeing that um the way that you or the reason that you're not focused is because of some of the relationships right um you are probably in a love relationship or in a very intimate relationship so or probably there is a big change in that relationship that is uh that is uh, distracting your focus, right? So probably you should be focusing on something, but because of those change, um, your work is not um, getting better or you're not actually uh, working as a very, uh, how can I say it's not effective. You're not getting the, uh, the, 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 the desired outcomes in that because of this relationship change, okay? Um, or probably you're trying to get into some relationships okay so some people is trying to you are really attracting you and you want to get in that relationship right um so your spiritual guide is trying to tell tell you that um i'm actually seeing um this is not only relationship but instead relationships so you are going through a situation where a lot of people is trying to start a relationship with you 
and um, you are just attracted. For example, you are all asked out like all the day, like all the week, every day, and you can't focus on what you're supposed to focus. Okay, so um, and also in your heart. Since you don't have the peace in your heart, you have this desire of love relationships. You have the desire of new intimate relationships to give you that stimulation. Okay, um, to enjoy your life, right? But actually, your spiritual guide is trying to tell you that okay, no, 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 that's not where you should focus. Okay, you need to. Strengthen your boundaries. Of course, if that love relationship is a good love relationship, that's go. That's okay. Go on. Go ahead with that. But if that's not a good relationship, probably you need to set your boundaries. Okay. So this is very much talking about how to set your boundaries and knowing what you want to invite into your life. Okay. So focus on yourself. I think that's the message that your spiritual guide is trying to tell you. Now. Finding out who is your spiritual guide, we have King of Cups, which oh, I'm getting a very soft-spoken and a very how can I say I I don't want to use the word feminine, but it's very caring, um, energy like um masculine energy. It's masculine, but it's not that masculine, right? Um, it's full of wisdom. Right, and it's a very soft. It's very open to all the possibilities. It's very inclusive, okay. And we have the first of ones, okay. Also, we have the page of swords, okay. So that's a very、um, aggressive and masculine energy here. I'm getting, and also we have the ten of pentacles. So probably, um, for you guys, um, uh, I'm actually getting the energy that, um. How can I say this? You have a very strong will. It's like you have a very strong will. And look at this four cards. It actually comes for each of this like cups, ones, swords, and pentacles, right? So for the four elements, you have them all, right? So that means you have a lot of different thing to focus on, right? So you can actually catch all these a、uh, tiny small flow of energy that is trying that 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 is actually、um, affecting you. Okay, so this is very important here. Okay, and for your spiritual guide, for who is your spiritual guide? I'm getting these two, um, let's say court cards here. So I'm getting this two energy. Uh, one of them is most, both of them are masculine, and one of them is very soft spoken and taking the leadership, and the other one is more like aggressive, is trying to affect you with all these kind of like. Whenever it comes here, whenever there is a new relationship or whenever you want something, um, this spiritual guide is telling you to move on, go ahead, okay, just start it. Things like that, right? So in that case, um, these two might sometimes be divided, okay? And also, um, for this, uh, your spiritual guide, what your spiritual guide is trying to say is, um, for you guys, okay, um, you will have like abundance, like we have ten of pentacles here, right? And but at the same time, you don't forget, okay. What you originally wanted to do, okay? What is your dream? What was your hope, right? So nowadays, um, I think everything is going well because uh, people or relationships around you are trying to provide you with a lot of abundance, with a lot of resources. But the thing is, like, um, is that uh what you truly want? Okay, that's the question your spiritual guide is trying to uh, uh, putting on you, huh? So, uh, let's take a look at. Next card is is intuition, and we have a witch there, and six of winds, and the faith card, and a king of water. Okay, so we have king of water and king of cups. They're actually the same energy here. So I'm getting this king of cup kind of like spiritual guide is very strong and affecting you. Okay, so actually king of um cups is more like um. They are very soft. They're very emotional. They know how to control their emotion, right? Um, they know how to control this kind of like, um, 
all over the place thing. Like water is all over the place, right? So they can contain them in a cup. So they have that ability、um, to take control of all the energies here.、Um, so, but at the same time, Page of Swords is more like、um, they go everywhere, right? They are very fast reacting. So.、Um, This card probably be the energy that getting you、uh, loose、uh, or distracted, okay? But King of Cup is trying to drag you back from that, so、uh, to, to try to to telling you to try to focus, okay? Please focus. And、um, this intuition card is actually telling me、um, you guys have that ability.、Uh, you guys have a little bit kind of like psychic ability here to、uh, your intuition is very. A clear, okay, and look at the five of wands card. It's talking about heart. It's talking about connecting to universe, right? So, um, and also this one is also talking about connecting with universe. So it's actually your spiritual guide is actually telling you that, um, uh, they are always trying to talk to you, okay? They always try and try to talk to you, and you are affected by those person. But you, what you only need to do here is you need to have. Faith in the right thing that you're trying to do. Okay, so I think this card speaks to group number one as well, and because group number one has a similar message there. So if you are interested in group number one too, please um watch group number one, the reading in group number one as well, um because uh these two spiritual guides is trying to uh ask you or invite you to be their leader. So um you need to be controlling these. Uh, messages from the spiritual guides. You don't just be the followers. Like whatever they say, they're right. No, that's not the case. Okay, so they're just giving you advice. But those advice, how could you understand those advice? Because they are speaking to you in a following a different logic from our world, right? So if that is the case, probably you need to have a deeper understanding of what they are or who they are. So these two cards talking about meditation. Talking about magical connections are very important here. So, in order to get connection with these、um, spiritual guides, you need to hone your to hone your what a spiritual ability to hone your psychic ability to try to.、Um, To try to connect with them with clear message, with clearer message. Okay,、um, so this is basically what I am getting from group number three for group number three, and、um, I hope this reading is helpful. And yeah, I, and I, I I do feel like um group number one has also、uh, some similar message there, so probably you could go back to group number one and have a better understanding of that. Uh, of whatever is reading here, okay. So in that, so now, um, that's all for today for group number three. If you like my reading, please give me a thumb up, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and don't forget to switch on the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Okay. And if you want a personal reading, because this is a group reading, and some messages might not be that accurate. And uh, if you want a more accurate. Personal reading, and、uh, you can find my email address in the description box. Okay, and also you can、uh, leave us a comment in the comment box,、uh, and we'll go find you. Okay, you can book a personal message with.、Uh, you, sorry, you can book a personal reading with me. Okay, and oh yes, and so and and also、uh, for my personal readings, I provide them. By through textbooks, like through text. Sorry, for my personal reading, I can give them back to you in email, in text, okay, in words, and at the same time,、um, I can also provide videos like this, only recorded for you, okay, for personal readings. If you're happy with that,、um, you can book my personal reading. I'm very grateful to help you, and also I provide those readings in. English, Chinese, Mandarin, and Japanese languages. You can also choose your preferred language so that you can understand the reading better. Okay, so that's all for today, my dear group number three. I hope you, I hope everything is going well in your life, and I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for watching today, and see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, so my dear group number four. This is the card that they've chosen, and today we're going to be looking at who is your spiritual guide and what are they trying to tell you. 
and、uh, the card you've chosen is alignment. This is a beautiful card, and by looking at this, I already get that you guys have a very strong connection with a spiritual guide, and they are actually, um, you're working together. Actually, oh sorry, you're working together. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. Okay, so um, it's not like what they are trying to tell you. You don't actually need to read this. You don't actually have to watch this because they have been talking to you, and you have been talking to them. You you guys have been working together for so long. Okay, but still, if you want to read this, if you want to watch this, if you want to confirm, okay, the message that your spiritual guide is giving you, I'm very happy to provide that. And this card, we'll be looking at this card later because it contains the specific information there. Let's take a look at your oracle cards first. Oh my God, this is a beautiful oracle. It says, "Listen up." Okay, see, guys, just listen, because I mean, for group number four, um, the way that your spiritual guide is trying to get you get to you is very literal. It's just like telling you. Okay, you need to listen. Okay, it's it's in word, it's in voice. Okay. And indigo, it says enhance. Okay, so it's very important that for you guys, I am seeing that you guys are going through a spiritual growth, which is really big. Okay, and you feel like that um you can catch the energy of your spiritual guide like more and more clearly in this. Um, in your life, like the surrounding energies there, so it's very important that、um, the spiritual guide, your spiritual guide, is trying to tell you that you guys are very lovely. You're very imaginative. You are probably kind of like even childish there because you pick up every single information there. You're like a newborn child picking up the energy, picking up all the message and information around you. Okay, so.、Um, Suddenly, like especially these days, suddenly you feel like that you start to notice that there are a lot of different energies that floating around you, okay, and you are picking up information, and you feel like that's probably useful, okay, and you have honeybee, and it says divine feminine, you are caught on to rise. I can't make this up. You're caught on to rise and enhance, right, and alignment and listen up. Right, so there has been some like higher entities that has been talking to you, like for a while, and now I think it's a time for you to listen to them. And with all this color, with all this energy, I can feel that your spiritual guide is a very clear feminine energy there. Okay, and this feminine energy is a higher being. Okay, so it's not something like, um. It's not like spirits、uh, from your previous life, probably in your previous life, because if it's a higher being, I don't think this karmic、uh, relation will work there. So it's kind of like different、um, logic if it's a higher being. So、uh, this entity is from a higher dimension,、uh, which does not actually、um, speak our words, right? But you can understand. You have the ability to understand this higher being. So you just need to listen up, and she's always there. Okay, and look at the message. Is this? We have a butterfly here, right? So when it comes a butterfly or a moth, I think it's a moth. I don't know, but it's it, whatever, right? Even butterfly or moth, they're 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 actually the same message here. It's talking about transformation, right, and independence. And a message says, the more you learn to. Feed yourself on the inside and care for the inner child. The more freestanding you become. Help me feed and love this inner child, dear Lord. So see, I just tell. I just told you that for this group, you have a very clear energy of a newborn child because you're very sensitive, because you have all those good. Ah,、uh, things in you, right? So, um, in this case, in this situation, I'm actually seeing that, um, your spiritual guide is try is is like a mother taking care of a child, okay? And this child is going through some major, ah,、uh, transformation, and ah,、uh, he or she needs some help, and then, um, your spiritual guide is there saying like, oh, listen to me, I have some good, um, advice to give you. Right. Let's take a look at your tarot card because for this group, as I said, I think you guys have already been connected with a spiritual guide, and they have been talking to you all the time, and you have actually mutual connection, mutual 
communications. Like, um, for example, like a newborn child, they sometimes go, uh, they sometimes talk to the air, right? So we have this imaginary friends, right? So they have the ability um, to actually simply talk to people, right? Look at your tarot cards, huh? First, it says uh, three of pentacles. Okay, that's a very beautiful message. And temperance. See, I'm actually seeing this kind of like um, female figure. It's literally what I'm seeing, right? Nine of pentacles. Again, a female figure there. And king of wands. Okay, so this is a very masculine energy now. Let's finish looking at all of them. Huh? And eight of wands. Okay. Sorry, let me put it. Okay. And abundance. Okay, coming under the three of pentacles. And seven of winds. Okay, and thought. Okay. Three of earth. Okay, and last but not least, we have the hero. Let me put it here. Okay, so um, for this group, I'm 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 literally getting the information that um your spiritual guide. How can I say this? Because King of Wands is there. So I told you that this is a very strong feminine energy. But with King of Wands, I feel like the strong feminine energy is with a very strong will. Um, she is like the leader in mind, the leader in opinions, right? She command people's ideas, she commands people's um, beliefs, right? So that's why I'm saying that um, she is from above, right? She is some divine being here, right? She is, she, she needs you to listen up, right? And also with this card here, with the seven of winds here, it's the same, right? So we're talking about a preacher, Right, we're talking about someone who is trying to tell people what to do. It's it's like a belief, right? It's like a religious leader. So this is very divine, guys. You have this very divine energy. Your spiritual guide has this energy. And this spiritual guide, what can she provide with you? She can provide you with abundance. Okay, it's very clear. Abundance, three of pentacles, nine of pentacles, right? But with nine of pentacles, that's saying that, uh, for example, like this three of earth here, uh, that means you have to work, okay? You don't just wait for it. You need to work. But um, if you work, um, your spiritual guide is not, um, it's, it's, it's willing to give you all you want. Okay, so uh, your spiritual guide is uh, is saying like, look at this card. Okay, uh, as exactly as what I said just now, like your spiritual guide is more like a mother taking care of a child, right? And this card is literally talking about using his own blood to um, nurture the seed, right? And this nature, right? So the spirit is trying to nurture you with her own energy, right? And um, the message I'm getting here is that uh, she wants you to move on. Okay, she wants you to move on. She wants you to start moving. Okay, so because I think maybe you guys are being lazy. Okay, maybe you guys are not, um, are thinking too much, right? We have thought here. We have also temperance here. These two cards, I think they speak to each other because they think, look at this card. It says a woman is looking into a bow or let's say. What is that? Looking into, how do you call this thing? Okay, looking into this thing. Okay, and thinking about a lot, right? So getting into her own head, right? And a um, temperance card is always kind of like weighing, balancing things, right? So you've always been thinking about what's happening in your life and you always want to find balance and you're always trying to think, uh, how can I solve this problem? How can I balance these two options here, right? All those kind of things are um, spoken here in this card, right? In this spread. So you are in your head and you, uh, st you stopped going. It's like you, because you're in your head and you have a lot of ideas there, but you just don't move, right? I can think, I can see even from this card, right? Even from this card, it's like you have those thoughts, you have those ideas, you have a lot going on in your mind, but your spiritual guide is telling you, move on, guys. 
move on with this energy, with this uh, Eight of Wands energy here, and this Hero energy here is all talking about going ahead, be more aggressive, go and get what you want, and don't think too much, and all these kind of like um. How can I say this? This this abundance, this money, wealth is coming to you, okay? But at the same time, your spiritual guide is telling you with the three of pentacles, it's saying that you have the ability to learn, okay? And um, you are very good at learning for this group. You're really good at learning. But um, how are you going to get out? How are you going to get all those things that you've learned into action. How are you going to transform them? Like transform. How are you going to transform all those knowledge into reality? Right? So you have ideas, you have knowledge, you know how to learn. But, but guys, can you really help people with your knowledge? Can you really put that into reality? And are you actually moving on with that? That's exactly what your spirit guide is trying to tell you. Okay, so, um, yeah, this group is actually so for you guys. I I feel like I have the same um, uh, situation now because I am kind of like very childish inside. So for this kind of like with with a very strong inner child, people with strong inner child, they all have very great ability, uh, have very great potentials to learn. They are very good learners. But um, only learning without doing anything is not enough. It will not bring you anything, right? So here, um, your spiritual guide is trying to tell you it's time for you to step up. Okay, to step up, to put whatever you have learned into reality. Okay, to think about the reality. Okay, to go into the material world, and probably you can help people, right? And don't worry because the spiritual guide from a higher being, from a higher world, is there. They are with you. They are here to help you. Okay, and um. You guys have been working together, as I said. Okay, so for all these learning abilities, for all these kind of like knowledge, ideas, are all these work of the higher being of the spiritual guide that helped you with all your um knowledge, with all your learning process. But now, after this, when it comes to the real world, when it comes to the material world, she is not there. Right, she can affect your material world, but you with a physical body is the one who can have the most control of this material world. Okay, so the next step is for you, okay, to deliver whatever you have learned from your spiritual guide from your life to the material world and to help people. With your ability, okay. How people with their ability, hero is someone who helps people, right? Okay, so group number four. I really hope that you can step your ability up because it's really important. Because I have been going, I have been, I have been through that, okay, in my own life, and I feel like after an an enhancement, it really feels good. Okay, so. Um, I assure you that. Okay, so that's all for group number four. And um, if you like my reading, please don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to this channel.、Um, and also don't forget to switch on the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Okay, and I am also receiving personal readings. This is a group reading. It's not、uh, as accurate. So if you want an accurate personal reading, you can find my email address in the description box of this video. And also you can leave me a message. Message in the comment box, and our staff will 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 contact you. Okay,、um, but do note that I don't receive any online phone calls.、Um, my personal reading will be sent back to you、uh, in text file or probably a recorded video like this.、Um, so you can choose from those, on、um, whether a text file or a video. Okay. And、um, also, I can provide personal readings in English, Chinese, Mandarin, and Japanese language. You can also assign your language so that you can understand your reading better. Okay, so that's all for today, Group Number Four. I wish you the best of luck, and see you next time. Bye bye.